Hello guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 9 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how to define and pass query parameters as well as path parameters via get method to the lambda function using lambda proxy integration. And now in this tutorial, I will show you how to return binary data from lambda function to the API Gateway using legacy method. So uh, let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have already configured the path parameter as well as the uh, method, right? That is get method. So you can treat this as the continuation of the part seven of this tutorial series because uh, in the previous tutorial, we have uh, implemented uh, Lambda proxy integration, right? So, but now in this tutorial, uh, we will move ahead with the legacy method and not with the proxy integration. Right, so uh, I will cover how to return binary data from Lambda function using proxy integration in the next tutorial, right? So you can treat this as the continuation of the part seven of this tutorial series. So before we move on, I will quickly uh, take you through the setup that we had. So within method request, we had configured request validator to validate query string parameters and headers. And then we had defined URL query string parameters as file and we had marked it as required. Right, apart from that within integration request. So uh, make sure uh, the use Lambda proxy integration checkbox is not checked, right? Because we are not using Lambda proxy integration over here, right? And then uh, we had configured mapping templates uh, as uh, when there are no templates defined, right? And then uh, we had uh, added applications less JSON and we had generated this uh, template. Right, so this was the setup that we had uh, in the part 7 of this tutorial series and we will move on with the uh, same setup. So now uh, let's uh, jump to the lambda function that we had. Right, so if you remember then line 7 and line 8 belongs to the previous tutorial, right. So in the previous tutorial as I said we had used proxy integration method and we were able to fetch the path parameter and the query string parameter from this location uh, within event but it will not work uh, for legacy method right so i will comment these two lines and i will uncomment line number five and line number six right so i will simply comment this uh, as for proxy method and these two lines are for legacy method right so uh, we have bucket name and file name uh, that we are picking up from the uh, right location right so now uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to return binary data from lambda function so what we will do is to get started uh, i will simply define a binary string saying file underscore content equal to b so here b represents bytes so b of uh, hello right and then if I go ahead and print type of file content, right, then it will return as bytes. So now I'm going to save this, right. So before we move on, uh, let's go ahead to CloudWatch and delete the logs if we have any. So I will delete this logs. Now safer side, uh, I will redeploy this API endpoint. So click on actions, say deploy API, select the stage and say deploy. Now let's jump to the postman and try to reinvoke this API endpoint. And it ran successfully, right? So let's go ahead to CloudWatch logs and check the type that we have printed, right? So as you can see, uh, it is defined as bytes, right? So uh, what we'll do is we'll try to return that uh, small string first and then uh, we will deal with the scenario that I have discussed in the part seven, right? So uh, let's jump back to the Lambda function, right? And 
now within return statement instead of uh, lambda dot dumps uh, let's return that uh, binary data saying file underscore content and save this right so again back to postman say send so now as you can see we have received a response in the form of json right and uh, this is something that we are not looking for in fact uh, we are looking for the binary response or the binary data so let's go back to the api gateway right now within api gateway click on resources and obviously that can be done uh, from the api gateway itself select the method right and click on integration response click on this uh, icon now within content handling uh, select convert to binary if needed so as i said uh, we want the binary data and not this json data and say save right now since we have made the change we have to redeploy this api so click on actions say deploy api select the stage and deploy now let's go ahead and try to uh, re-invoke the api endpoint say send now it says internal server error right because uh, it was not able to successfully uh, convert the json response to the binary right so let's go ahead and debug it so navigate to api gateway click on resources select the method and click on test now here uh, we will pass the path parameter we will say upload api tutorial and the query string saying file equal to content.pdf right and say test now it says internal server error why so let's have a look so endpoint response before uh, transformation is this and execution failed due to configuration error unable to base 64 decode the body right so the api gateway or the api uh, was expecting the base 64 encoded uh, data right or base 64 encoded uh, response but what we are passing is the json uh, response right so we have to encode this into uh, base 64 right so here we cannot pass on the json instead of that uh, let's comment this out and we will say return so we have to import that a uh, package first so say import base 64 and say return base 64 dot b 64 and code parenthesis file content right now say save this lambda function now uh, we have made change in the lambda function so we don't need to redeploy the api gateway right so we can simply go ahead to the postman and invoke this api endpoint now it returned hello uh, and it refers as content type application slash octets hyphen stream right so the api endpoint invocation was successful and we was able to fetch the data or get the response successfully right but this is not that we are looking for so now uh, coming back to the scenario that i had discussed in uh, part 7 which was that end client want to access a file residing within s3 bucket using get method and the client will pass the bucket name as well as the file name that he or she wants to access or download right so here uh, we are not able to save the uh, response that we are getting in the form of file right instead uh, uh, we are getting streaming data right so so now uh, let's comment this line number 9 and line number 10 right and try to fetch the file from the s3 bucket so for example i have this s3 bucket saying upload api tutorial and i want to access this file that is content.pdf right using api gateway endpoint so what i will do is um, i have to first import boto3 
then uh, we have to define s3 bucket object that is s3 equal to boto3 dot client followed by the service name that is s3 now uh, we have to fetch the object from the s3 bucket so file object equal to s3 dot get underscore object followed by the bucket equal to bucket name so that is something that we will get from the path parameter followed by key that is file name that is again we are passing it as query string right and then finally uh, we are going to read the body or read the file content so i will say file underscore content equal to file object of body dot read right and i will save this lambda function so now uh, we have the file content within file underscore content variable and then what we are doing on line 26 is we are encoding it and passing it to the api gateway and then what api gateway will do it will convert it to binary and it will return the response right so no need to redeploy this api since we had only made changes in the lambda function so go back to postman and say send now it will take some time since it's going to fetch the file and read the content and then it will return it right so now again uh, we have this response it's the pdf file that it returned right now if i look at the headers it says application slash uh, octet stream right but uh, as i said i want to save this file right and i don't want to uh, see this response because uh, i can't interpret it right so for that we have to make one more change within api gateway so let's see so navigate to api gateway click on method execution now uh, click on method response now here click on this arrow mark and here add a header saying content type click on this tick mark edit this content type saying application slash pdf click on this tick mark right now go back now click on integration response within integration response click on this uh, now click on header mappings so now here you will be able to see content type so by default you will not be able to see anything over here until and unless you go ahead and add uh, within method response uh, saying content type right so whichever headers you will add here it will reflect back into the uh, integration response right so in order to make any change within integration response you have to first make changes in the method response right so now uh, within content type uh, click on this uh, pencil icon and here within single code say application slash pdf single code and save this right so now uh, since we have made changes within api gateway we have to redeploy this api so click on actions say deploy api select the deployment stage version 1 and say deploy right so now the api has been deployed so we will go ahead to postman and reinvoke this api right so say send so as you can see now it's asking us to save the content or the binary data as file right so what i will do is i will uh, save this now here you can see the response has been saved now if i go ahead and open this file so as you can see we have the pdf file uh, that is coming from the upload api tutorial s3 bucket right so how we are getting this uh, we are passing bucket name as path parameter again and file name as content.pdf right and then uh, it's hitting the api gateway and api gateway is triggering this lambda function 
and within this lambda function we are getting this bucket name and file name and then using boto3 uh, we are fetching the content.pdf from this bucket right and then uh, we are reading the file content and encoding it into base64 and returning it back to the api gateway right and then api gateway is converting that base64 encoded data to binary right since uh, we had selected an option uh, with an integration response saying content handling as convert to binary if needed right and then uh, we have defined headers as application slash pdf right now if we go to postman and look at the headers then it's defined as application slash pdf so earlier it was application slash octet stream so uh, this is how you can uh, send binary data to the api gateway and from api gateway to the user so let's try once again so maybe uh, what we can do is I can go to S3 management console and rename this file instead of content I will say maybe content1.pdf right and save this now in order to access this file uh, I have to change this uh, query string value from content.pdf to content1.pdf right and I will say send Now, as you can see, it was able to successfully uh, access the file from the S3 bucket, right? Now, if I again go ahead and open this response, so we have this file. This is how you can return binary data from Lambda function, right? So just to summarize a few things, so what all changes we had made is, so the first change is within method request. We have configured this request validator to validate query string parameters and headers. And then uh, within URL query string parameter, we had defined file, right? And then within integration request, uh, we had configured mapping template as I showed you earlier, right? And finally, within integration response, within status code 200, we had selected content handling as co convert to binary. Earlier it was pass through, right? And then uh, we had gone back to method response within status code 200 and we had added this header that is content type and we had changed application slash json to application slash pdf right and then we had went back to integration response within integration response uh, we had configured header mapping saying content type as within single code application slash pdf so that all the changes we had made from the api gateway perspective right and then within lambda function uh, we are getting bucket name and file name as path parameter and query string parameter and then we are using boto3 to access the file from the said s3 bucket uh, and the said file right and then we are reading the content uh, from the s3 bucket so here uh, we will get the content within bytes uh, in bytes format right and then uh, we are finally converting that bytes data to uh, base64 uh, encoded data and then we are returning it back to the api gateway then it's converting it to binary and sending back to postman and within postman when we say send it's asking us to save that binary data right so that's a pdf file so i can say response one over here and say save so as you can see uh, we have that file right so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i will take you through on how we can achieve the same functionality but using lambda proxy integration so well till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with a tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time